lovely peeps, welcome back, long time no see. A lot has been going on since I didn't have time to record, but I am back now. Today is a day for more not so very fun with Chalice and her family. In the previous episode, Chalice and her friends hung out a little bit in their new clubhouse, if you wanna call it that, and we sang a lot of karaoke together and had a good time. And it was also fun because dad made us some good old fashioned pancakes for dinner. I have not played The Sims in quite some time. I've actually took a break because I was so burned out too and just played other games so I have to get familiar with everything again. Today's episode we're gonna start off with Addie aging up into a child because it is her birthday. So say goodbye to diapers, say goodbye to nap times and feeding chairs because it's time for this little girl to no longer be this tiny. As much as I love toddlers inside The Sims now, it's time. It is time for her to blow out her candles and I thought I told him to do that but he didn't do it. So let's pick her up. It, th there's a weird glitch right there because uh, the game thinks she's smaller. Like she's too small. But here we go. Yay. Now she's blown out her candles. Are you going to grow up now? Because it is, it's time for you to grow up. If you don't age up, I'm going to be very, very sad. For some reason, it's being weird. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to help this baby girl out. Because it's time for her to age up. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> Or we can pass out like it always starts off with. It's where usually kids pass out and kind of understanding. I say it's time for everyone to just leave. Like let's 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 have Bumblebee leave. The only reason why she's here is because it's her daughter's birthday. If you guys want cake, we can call it cake. So have cake for a little bit and then everyone's gonna go to sleep as soon as you're done. Because we gotta get the next day started. I've decided I'm actually going to start playing only two days of The Sims because it's just so much editing the three days and a lot goes on in three days. I didn't realize it was going to be a lot to work with, but it is. Looks like no one wants cake. That's fine. Everyone go to sleep and goodbye, Bumblebee. Will be. You don't need to be here anymore. Also, quick thing, I am getting over a cold, so I'm sorry if I sound nasally and sorry if my throat sounds weird. I'm recovering, but I'm getting better. Oh, she lost her tooth again. Oh boy. Hopefully she'll grow some more teeth because in two days here, she's going to be a preteen. I got the preteen mod, so that's what we're gonna do. It's gonna be a slumber party and a birthday party at the same time. So it's gonna be tomorrow, but today is just for this girl to grow up and we're gonna work on her homework, her skills, and and just see where she want, what she wants to do when she's a child. I'm not sure what aspirations she's going to do. I think I'm just gonna leave them alone until they grow up. Alrighty, 5 a.m. I think that's a pretty good amount of sleep there. Do your morning routine, and then I need you to make some breakfast for your daughters. They don't have any school today, which is grand to hear. Cake is not bad yet, but I don't want anyone to have cake for breakfast. It's just not the way to go. She's crying because she had a nightmare. Well, we're gonna have pancakes for her breakfast. She can have cereal. And why is she up so early in the morning? I don't know. But a couple of her skills have gone up. I played just, just a little bit just so we can get to her birthday. Her motor skills and social have gone up. We're making some progress there. Oh my gosh, this is what happens when you have a slob of a child. All right, she's gonna brush her teeth. And the reason why is because when they have a loose tooth, it helps them actually take out the tooth. And she's not gonna eat anything if she has a loose tooth because it's very uncomfortable. You go to the restroom and that's all I want you to do. Why aren't you growing up? I'm gonna use some magic. She's not aging up. All right, child, please. Here's her birthday. This is better. Yay, Addie aged up. And let's see what we're gonna do. We're gonna do randomize. Hopefully it's nothing bad. So one, two, three. She's gonna be creative. This sim dreams of succeeding in the arts. Ooh, I think that'll be very fun for her. She, I could see her being a creative sim. <gasps> Look at her. She, they actually kept the blonde hair this time. Good. That's making me happy. Let's do some CC on this baby girl. Ooh, I cannot wait to see what she's gonna look like. I have it all planned out too. Can't wait to show you. Woo! Addy Berry. Oh my goodness, Gravy. No, this is this is off like half tomboy, half girly. I don't think that's a good mix there, baby girl. We're not gonna do that. Let's CC her up. Here's a before look. She looked really adorable as a toddler. I have to say, I was very sad to see her grow up from being a toddler, but it's okay. I will survive. She got from adorable to gorgeous. I mean, look at her. She's so pretty. A spitting image of her mother, but definitely her father's eyes. I don't know. Maybe she looks more like her father than her mother, but we have the gray eyes like Dorian, and we have this cute hairstyle. I believe Athena wore when she was a toddler. There's her everyday wear. This is her formal wear, her athletic wear. This is actually my favorite. Sleepwear, party wear, swimwear, heat wear, and 
in winter wear. I thought it'd be cute if they kind of go a little bit like twinsies, even though they're not twins. She's about to grow up anyway. All right, I don't know if this was hers originally. Oh, when they updated the game for the rent expansion pack, they ruined a whole lot of CC. So I had to go back and put all of the CC back on my Sims and, and it was quite annoying. I didn't really like it. All right, Dorian is cooking us some breakfast hopefully. And the cat is playing in the trash. Yeah, no, that's not what I want. This is gonna really confuse me. Please tell me you can lecture that cat. Oh, yes, you can. Make sure he listens to you. Thank you. Naughty boy. You naughty boy. Go ahead, call meal. It's time for everyone to eat. Yes, he will not play in the trash anymore. So, today, what are you doing, baby boy? What are you doing? Oh, we became good friends. Nice. We're all gonna have breakfast together for the first time. It's gonna be the little trio. Oh, come on. I need, I need shots. I need cute shots. Look at them. They're having, oh, they were having breakfast together. I have been waiting for this day where both girls and Dorian just have breakfast. Today is Sunday, girls, Sunday. You're gonna hang out with your friends and you are gonna work on some of your skills or should you work more on your skills? And your creativity does need to go up a little bit. You could play with dolls, play dolls with your sister. I think that'll be very fun. Oh my gosh, I can't, I'm so excited they get to play together. Oh, I've been waiting for this moment. She's not a toddler anymore. Oh, they're so cute. This is so sweet. They're playing with dolls. Remember, she's gonna have a great relationship with her sister. That's how she gets inspired or wants to become a great mother when she gets older. And who's calling me? Sure, go for it. So you don't have to be a nanny anymore. We don't need a nanny anymore. He's doing really bad in his schoolwork. He's on probation again. So he needs to, oh, he did everything. He gave a presentation and homework and then his results are going to come in, I believe, Monday. I really think it's time for him to do a lot of classes, like a whole lot. And the reason why is because we really don't want him to fail college and get suspended. It's going to be really bad because he's been suspended before. We don't want him to do it again. I'm going to work on some scholarships, see what could help us, even though we really don't need scholarships, but it's it looks good. Let's talk to Zach. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk to your uncle. Oh, ooh, is she getting to level nine now? Oh, she is. She's getting there. So she's close on her creativity and her mental. She really, really needs to work on her mental skills. Is fishing mental skills? I don't know. Table, computer interactions, socials, chessboard. They're so cute together. And I know it's snowing, but it's okay. And then when they're done with that, I actually want them to both swing together. That'd be fun. Who's calling? It is mom. Congratulations on your recent birthday. Oh, thank you, mom. See, she's gonna have a good relationship with her mother. She's not. I just thought that would be a pretty good story there. Cause she was old enough to understand. Oh, mom left. Like she broke dad's heart. So I don't really want to have anything to do with mom, but I'll still respect her, love her. Oh, they're becoming good friends now. They can't do that. Dude, are you literally just gonna sit there? All right, well, why don't you continue building this thing, the rocket ship, and as soon as you're done hanging out with your sister, why are both of your energy levels down? Maybe it's nap time, but let's have her take a bubble bath, her first bubble bath as a child, and she can take a nap. She's not lazy, she's pretty athletic, but she's a little tired, so let's have her work on that. And tomorrow's her birthday. There we go. It helps so much. We don't have any responsibilities. We don't have to teach toddlers or anything like that um no you cannot come over to here but you can definitely go the kids can go over there to your house just saying he's gonna clean the house while the kids go do their thing thought that would be nice no available dryer what do you mean why is there no available dryer <sighs> oh wait just don't do that while your child is in the bath oh you need to clean this bathtub it needs it needs to be polished to perfect Perfection. I'm excited to see who Chalice is gonna marry, but I don't think she's gonna meet her been future husband until she goes to high school. That's what I'm guessing. I know she's been a child for a lot of episodes. So in this episode, I'm thinking of leaving it when she becomes when she becomes a preteen. I think that'll be best. Level five on rocket skills. Nice Dorian. Oh, and look who's awake. Nice. Fitness level five. Yay, we're gonna have our friends over and hopefully he can make us some dinner. Say hello to our friends. What do you all wanna do? You wanna watch TV? You wanna play karaoke? I think we've done a lot of karaoke in the last episode. Let's all watch a movie together. I say we watch not something scary. Sure, dog's journey. Let's watch with all of my friends. And my sister is in the middle of napping. 
so we're not gonna bother her. Oh, it's about dinner time. Let's make some dinner for these children. No one better be on this computer. Oh, he's on the computer. Dude, get off. These kids cannot be on the computer. We're gonna lock computer for everyone, but no one can be on here. There we go. No, you can't use it. <laughs> oh, nice. Addie finished her homework. I think I should express my love to my daughter. Oh, we should talk to her. We didn't really talk to her a whole lot. Get some of her social skills up, you know? Oh, he's gonna be such a great father. He's already a great father. We are best friends. No, you can't come over. I actually put some pillows on these cute little bean bags. I thought that would be very adorable. Come on, sit down. Child, sit down. De Demario, what are you doing? Oh, Demario's leaving. Because Demario got very bored. So let's just talk to them. Ooh, likes silly behavior. Oh, she's gonna be such a fun girl to hang out with. I'm telling you now. All right, glad you guys are getting along, but it is time for dinner and I need you to serve some dinner for these children. I think we should do something a little bit more on the nice side. Fish and chips, clam chowder. There's like a lot of options of food here. I can, oh my goodness. Why not? Let's do some Italian meatballs. Yeah, we're good friends. We're good friends. Oh, except for Demario. We're like acquaintances. That explains why he's not so comfortable. All right, you guys want to do some karaoke? We'll do pop. I think pop will be nice pop with carly and then we'll do a du duet and we'll do country lawson looks like a jazz kind of guy he's almost done with food she got her homework done why don't you sit here watch dad cook and maybe pet the cat when you're done because that cat always needs attention oh no, the cat's been doing pretty good actually oh no never mind Ooh. where's lawson did he go inside the house? Okay, it's fine. It's fine. If he wants the cake, someone needs to eat the cake. All right, we need a call to a meal to eat for these children. Call to a meal because it's getting late. They got school tomorrow, so everyone should eat some food. We're just going to throw that away because Italian meatballs are better than cake, in my opinion. Look at you, Dorian. You've been such a great host and parent. Clean up everyone's dishes. I think we're just going to tell her to go to bed. Did you clean your dish? No, that's Carly's dish. Okay, cool. All right, let's tell the kids to go home. It's time for all you guys to go home. It's getting late. Yeah, it was fun hanging out, guys. Come back tomorrow. I would like you to put that in the washer, please. And then quickly go to the restroom before you pee yourself in front of all the kids. See, this is why I kicked him outside because he's jumping on the counters. And I don't like it when cats, cats do that. I was gonna say kids, but it's not kids, cat. Why is she not sleeping? What's going on? Why are you not, she's passing out. She's passing out, but she's not staying asleep in her bed. And that is a problem problem for me. Thank you. Two things we've worked on with him. The trash and jumping on the counter. Yeah, that's nice. Cool. All right, let's go to sleep. You guys got school in the morning. Oh, and Charles is now a picky eater. That's great. Adoption notice. Wow. Whoa. Lots of dogs are being adopted. Oh, the phone. Today is the day for her to become a preteen. Yes. Yes. So excited. I'm so happy. Then we're up. All right, let's get up. Up, 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 darling. Can you get leftover? Yeah, get some leftover meatballs. No cakes. Hello, what is that? I don't know what that is, but you can eat it. Expect a loose tooth here soon. No, 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 no. Oh, she's gonna take a bath herself. Uh, excuse me. Are you wanting to be a big girl now? Is that what's going on here? How grand is this? All right, clean that up, dear. Sit down and eat your food. Were you about to clean up your plate? Oh, she's a good girl, but she didn't have a great infant life. Look, unhappy infant. That was not entirely my fault, okay? Your mother decided to leave when you were a baby. So apply to university. I already applied to universities. I don't need to do any of that. Ooh, ooh, he should make lunches for the kids because they're going to school today. A veggie hummus for our darling Addie. And then we're going to do a PB&J for what's her face? Chalice. Why are you still smelling? You took a bath. You chose to take a bath, not me. You're gonna take a shower because it's a lot quicker. You gotta go to school like real soon. You didn't even eat breakfast. There you go. Now you're going to school. You didn't even Guys, wait, don't go to school yet. He's trying to make your sack lunches. Did you, yes, that, yes. Okay, that one's going to you. And sorry, Chalice, you're not gonna be able to have lunch. I should have gave the hummus one to, to Chalice instead. And this is her first time going to school. Yeah, she's gonna listen to the teacher. Oh, nice. You can do homework in class, why not? Oh my goodness, the bills. Pfft, 
nothing compared to the amount of money we got right now. I don't know how we got this much money. I have a feeling it's from selling all that furniture. I'm not gonna complain. You know, it's not really cheating. Don't worry, in the next generation when Chalice grows up and moves out, I'm gonna try to just get narrow it down to 2000 and we're not gonna sell any furniture or anything like that. I guess he cannot continue to work on stuff outside because it is snowstorming. All right, dude, this is your chance. This is your day. You need to clean this house. It has been in ruins for quite some time. We need to change that right after you're done eating, of course. Do the kids laundry like the girls laundry. We'll wash that. We haven't used a vacuum in a long time, so let's empty it and then we're gonna start it. There we go. Do your thing. Mm, reach level three. It's probably from playing the playground. Oh, it's Addie. She gets a class. She realizes her timeline is due. What are you talking about? She did her homework. You guys can pause and read this if you want. Addie is a good girl, so she She's gonna confess to the truth. Again, pause and read this if you want. <laughs> Live and prove it, turn it in on time. We're gonna turn it in on time, come on guys. Oh, she marks an F next to her name. Oh, that's not good. But hey, she's becoming responsible again. That's good. Level three on her mental noise. Okay, we're here. We're at the slumber party, aka birthday party. Now, I have tried to age these three up. She was already a teenager, so I'm trying to make them preteens. And for some reason, it's just not happening. So, we're not going to worry about that. And so, we're just going to work on this over here. And we're going to have Chalice hang out with her friends. And they're all in our family just for now, just so it can make it a whole lot easier for us. This game is just extremely glitchy, and I'm not going to worry about it. I know there was a chair here, but the chair is gone. We could just go ahead and put another another one there. I work. Oh, no, not what I wanted. Goodness. I'm used to other games, which is why I'm struggling so much. There we go. Everyone's about to eat all at the same time. Perfect. One down. Now I have to tell stories on a sleeping bag. Instead, it is 8 p.m. Holy cow. We need to get some sleep. Usually that's the first thing we do. Addie is invited to the party, but since she does have school tomorrow, but she needs some fun and they have school projects they gotta work on. I'm just gonna have her play with her toy as soon as she is done eating. And then as soon as she is done playing with teddy bear, she's gonna go to sleep. So we have sleeping bags over here. This is where the girls are gonna sleep, where the boys are gonna sleep. And we could just move this couch out of the way and we could add a game table. So let's do that. Simple, make them all a different color. Cause I don't like everything being the same color. It's a little bland to me. All right, tell stories in the sleeping bag, have Sims play games at the same time. Gladly. As soon as you guys are done eating, I would like you to all play cards together. Cause it's fun. Let's do it. I don't know what kind of cards we're gonna play, but I'm sure they'll make something up. Her fun's okay. Maybe we could ever start on her science experiment with her dad. I wonder if we could ask our dad to help us with it. We'll just start carefully and then we'll ask him, hey dad, please help me with a science project. I have no idea. Ooh, creative level four. What are you doing, Lawson? Yeah, no, you're supposed to come inside. Can you all not go inside? I am so confused. It's unlocked. You can all go in there. I'll just unlock it for everyone. There we go. Everyone just sit down, okay? Do whatever you want to do. Just play with me, please. Like now, Lawson's playing by himself. Let's it's not dilly dally. Well, lucky you, there's a bathroom in here. Go do that. So I already had her blow out the candles. She's not growing up. And I'll just figure out the preteen thing in a little bit. But right now, I just want to see how the slumber party is going to be. Go to sleep. I think we have to sleep inside the sleeping bag. So holy cow, it's already 11 p.m. We need to have some fun though. Oh, she's not doing it. Please join the game. Do you guys not have any room? What is going on? There it goes. It's doing the thing. Okay, I understand. You can't reach. I don't know why you can't reach, but you can't. Can't. All right, that's enough of that, boys. That's enough of that. Yep, and now kids are passing out. I knew this was gonna be a fail. When is it not gonna be a fail? We'll just put a sleeping bag there and a sleeping bag here. How does that sound, boys? Does that help? It's basically how sleeping bags roll. Yay, Chalice, grow up. I don't know if it's a preteen or if it's a teen. It's fine if we don't get to play her preteen stage. We kind of played it already, but she needs to be active. She was a very active child, so I think it makes sense that we do that. There we go, that's better. For her her aspiration she is supposed to be athletic so i believe she needs to work the bodybuilder and let's see where this takes her and then that means she gets to go to high school because i have the high school pack now this is no this is not okay all right, lovely peeps, this is what Chalice looked like when she was a child. She was starting to get into her tomboy stage. You can tell, it's very simple. I love her little freckles. She has yellow eyes, the gray hair. It looks a little bit blondish, grayish eyebrows. And she had braces when she was younger. I think I'm gonna keep the braces when she's a teenager just 
that's how when she's a young adult will take those off. She was a pretty simple girl. She was very cute, very beautiful. A very interesting look you got, Chalice. And look how tall she is. She's extremely tall. That or it's because it got a bigger monitor. I don't know. But we got to do something with all of this. But so far, I'm really liking what Chalice is kind of becoming. But we're getting rid of that. Let's give this girl a pretty good makeover. This is what she looks like as a teenager. I really wish I did preteen, but it's okay. We'll just skip that. Maybe next generation we could do preteen or maybe Addie could be a preteen. We'll see. But I'm kind of liking this look. I want her to be tomboy, but also a little bit of goth. If you zoom in, she's got her beautiful silver eyes. She's definitely a teenager, you can tell. So here's her everyday wear. This is her formal wear. She's not gonna wear dresses because she's a tomboy. This is her athletic wear. She's gonna probably be in that a lot. And then we have her sleep wear, party wear, her swim wear, heat wear, and winter wear. Very simple. It's I think it really matches her personality and her type. She is all done. She's now a teenager. And then it's gonna be Addie. I already worked on all of her friends and that's why it took a little longer than expected. So the sleepover did not work out very well. Everyone was too tired to do anything and I'm just gonna not even worry about it. But thank you all so much for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you did, please let me know. Thank you all so much for your love and support and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye!